Hello, welcome to May 2023 monthly beauty favorites and fails. I have a really good mix of drugstore and high-end makeup and skincare products to share with you today. I have some really great favorites and some disappointing fails, plus some sale alerts, including on some jewelry that I really love. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I have a lot to talk to you about today, so let's go ahead and get into what I loved and didn't love in May. Essence launched a new blush formula that I'm wearing today. This is the Pure Nude Baked Blush. There are eight shades. Some have more sheen luminosity to them than others. I'll put swatches on the screen and put a star next to the ones that have a more matte finish just to differentiate between the two. Now I started out today with Rosy Rosewood on my cheeks and before filming I topped it off with the shade Berry Cheeks. Rosy Rosewood has more of a matte finish whereas Berry Cheeks has a little bit more radiance luminosity and it just gives kind of a lip from within glow. These are a baked formula so I've found that they last a long time. Now I do find that there's a little bit of kick up when I first dip my brush into these but tapping my brush off takes care of it and I think this is a really nice formula at a really great price point that I've been enjoying wearing and playing around with in May. I don't know if I'm having really great luck with setting sprays lately or if brands are just making them better but Too Faced launched their makeup and Insurance 18 hour wear long wear setting spray with blue light defense and I am loving it. It's got this really light fresh coconut scent. It's alcohol free. The mist is really nice. Although it's a fast mist, it's still cloud like. Now you do need to shake this up first. I find it to be lightweight, refreshing, and it keeps my makeup on all day. Even if I walk outside and it's hot and humid and I get a little sweaty, it has antioxidants that help protect against environmental stressors, green tea extract to refresh skin. And it's also got some advanced polymers that help set your makeup without feeling heavy. And I just, I notice all of those things. My skin does feel refreshed and never heavy. This is another good one. I've found several really nice setting sprays this year, and I can just add this to my arsenal. Alcohol-free setting sprays that work really, really well. I've been trying to talk about this brush for a couple of months now, but it's been out of stock. So it's finally back in and I can share the BK Beauty 109. This is a mini slanted brush. It looks like her slanted foundation brush. It's basically a mini version. It's a little less dense and it's perfect for applying cream blush to the cheek. I actually regularly had been using the 106 brush and I'll link that brush down below too. I do have a BK Beauty code for you if you're interested in saving a little bit of money. It's down below in my description box where all the products I'm sharing today are listed and linked for you. But I kept seeing Lisa J using this to apply her cream and liquid blushes. And as much as I loved using my other brush, I finally one day just decided to go ahead and try using this brush for that purpose too. And I think I actually like it better. It's a little bit smaller, so it's more precise. I have a small face, so it works really well for putting blush exactly where I want it, yet still diffusing it and having it look perfected and exactly the way I want it to because of the slant and because of the density. And it's so soft. You can, of course, use this for other purposes. I just really have been enjoying it for cream and liquid blushes. And of course, as we get older, the apples of our cheeks get a little bit lower. So it just helps with precision of getting that blush exactly where we want it without going too low with a bigger surface. So this has been a big hit for me that I've been waiting to share once it came back in stock and you could actually get your hands on it. I think this is my third product in 2023 from The Ordinary that I've been really happy with. They've had a few new launches this year that have just really done it for me. So this is the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus beta-glucan moisturizer that I honestly was not expecting that much out of, but it delivered so much more. First off, I wasn't expecting it to be clear. It's a lightweight clear gel moisturizer that they say is for all skin types. I'm gonna touch on that a little bit more here in a second. It's designed to deliver all day hydration and protect your skin from water loss. So it has beta-glucan and ceramides, which help protect the skin barrier and natural moisturizing factors, which is kind of what the Ordinary is known for with their moisturizers. Now they say the lightweight gel formula is suited for all skin types and it very well could be. I mean, I have combination skin that is pretty normal around the perimeter and can get a little dry, but I have shine and oil breakthrough in my T-zone. 
own and it has worked really well on all areas of my face. But further down in the description, it says that it may be especially suited to oily and combination skin. But this is very lightweight and my skin does feel and stay hydrated throughout the day. I especially like this as a moisturizer this time of year when it's hot and humid outside. Also under sunscreen that I'm wearing under my makeup, it's really nice and lightweight when you don't want added heaviness underneath that sunscreen, but you still want some moisture without added greasiness. I love the amount that you get for the price. This has been a hit that I've been reaching for pretty regularly since I first got it when it first launched. I have two products here from Milani. One is really good. The other is not so good. I'm going to start with the not so good and end on a high note. So this is the Stay Put Liquid Lip Longwear Lipstick. The shade that I have is 120, 10 out of 10. It is not what I have on my lips. I'll be talking about that uh, here in a little bit, but I will show you what this looks like on my lips here in a second. So this is, I believe, a revamped formula of their previous longwear lipstick that they had. It has your traditional slanted doe foot applicator. It's supposed to glide on and feel lightweight, and I would definitely say that it does that. And it does have a kind of a whipped, moussey texture to it. These have avocado oil and vitamin E. They do last a really long time, which is what a lipstick is supposed to do. But if you have been following me for any length of time and you've ever heard me talk about long wear liquid lipstick formulas, the traditional liquid lipstick formula, you know I'm not a fan because of how most of them typically make your lips look and feel. They're very drying. They're typically unflattering on lip lines, especially for those of us who are not in our 20s anymore. I mean, I'm 47. I've lost volume in my lips and liquid lipsticks enhance that. So a few minutes after I applied this, after it dried down, it just enhanced any vertical lip lines that could have even appeared in my lips. It was just not flattering. I don't even think the camera is picking up what I saw in person. I just felt like it looked so much worse in person than what you're seeing here. And I just did not like the way this felt at all, but it does last. So if you're a fan of liquid lipstick, you might enjoy these. I am not, this is not a formula that I will be reaching for. However, they also had a relaunch of their eyeshadow stick formula. So these are the gilded eyeshadow sticks, and this formula is a lot better than the previous formula that they had. There are eight shades. What I have on my lids today is the shade Rose. These are creamier and more pigmented than they were before. They glide on smoothly, either straight from the stick if you like to scribble them on and then blend them out, or if you like to do like I do sometimes and just take your finger in them and then apply it to your lid. They apply that way beautifully too. And sometimes I find that it's a little faster that way. I've used these as both shadow and liner. And I forgot to tell you, I do have one on as liner today. The shade I have on as liner is the shade Terra and it's just a basic brown. Now I'm not seeing that the original launch has matte shades. Hopefully they'll add some. I mean, the shade Terra really does not have have noticeable shimmer in it when I use it as liner especially. And because it's such a deep shade, I usually do use it as liner. So I'm finding that these will stay put without creasing, even without a primer underneath, if it's not very humid outside. I live in a very hot, humid environment. If there is a moderate or high amount of humidity, I do need to use an eyeshadow primer underneath. But if I use an eyeshadow primer, they stay beautiful all day and they're flattering. They don't dry down and make your eyelids all crinkly and dry looking. How they look right after you apply them is how they dry down. I love that in an eyeshadow stick. These have been huge hits for me. The vitamin C serum that I've been using every day since I got it and absolutely loving is a newer launch from Colleen Rothschild. She revamped her vitamin C products and I've been loving this one and her Memorial Day sale is extended through May 30th. So I wanted to be sure and fit this in this video so you wouldn't miss that sale. So this is the new vitamin C brightening serum. It's great for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It doesn't smell bad like a lot of vitamin Cs. It has kind of a a sweet smell probably from the pomegranate, but I mean, it just sinks right in beautifully. It wears well under makeup. I have a lot of favorite Colleen Rothschild products. I love the texture of this so much and how well it wears under sunscreen, under makeup. It just doesn't feel like I have anything extra on my 
skin at all. It's a lightweight kind of watery lotion that sinks right into my skin and is absorbed really quickly. And it feels kind of hydrating yet like there's nothing on my skin at all. It's a potent vitamin C serum. It has 15% stabilized vitamin C plus niacinamide as an added antioxidant that as an added bonus also helps with the appearance of pores. The blend of the two together helps with dark spots, dullness. It helps prevent against environmental stressors and helps smooth uneven skin tone. It just helps your skin look brighter, more healthy and radiant over time. There's also another powerful antioxidant in here. It also helps it counteract the effects of pollution on skin, which can lead to premature aging. And it has pomegranate extract, which has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. This is probably one of the easiest vitamin C's I've ever used. I have a lot of Colleen Rothschild favorites. She makes some great products, really effective products. And I love it when there's a good sale. So I wanted to be sure and let you know the link is down below. Now let's talk about Physicians Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder. I have Natural Glow here, which kind of has a bronzer look to it and translucent. So before I started filming, I put just a little bit of this Natural Glow on as bronzer. I think for deeper skin tones, this would probably be a nice translucent shade on me, it's a nice sheer bronzer. The translucent shade is what I use as a powder. You can use this as a setting powder or a finishing powder. It's got a little bit of illumination to it, but no glitter whatsoever. Just kind of that illumination that gives you that lit from within glow after you apply it. It's got illuminating minerals and a trio of butters and essential fatty acids that help nourish, soften, and moisturize your skin. I mean, I suppose if you used a finger and applied this strategically to the high points of your face, you could use this as a very natural highlighter, but because you use a brush to apply it as a powder, the effect it gives is just this nice kind of candlelit glow look that softens and illuminates all at the same time. It's really flattering. And you know what? I'm not noticing a huge butter scent to each of these like most of their butter products have either. It's very, very minimal. Now I've been enjoying these as a setting powder because of the radiance factor. That's just how I prefer to use this one, the translucent. And I'll like to use this as kind of a glowy bronzer, which is nice for this time of year. But I've really been enjoying these in May. Somewhat recently, NARS launched this limited edition Laguna Quad eyeshadow palette, which looks kind of boring and ordinary. I didn't even try it for a while after I got it. And then one day I did, and I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed it and how flattering it was and how easy it was to reach for and just throw it on and go. It's wearable and a little bit different from the standard neutral brown shadows that I already have and kind of perfect for this time of year actually. So we have a shimmering copper, a soft brown, frosted ginger, and a sparkling nude. That is how those are described and it's just flattering. You know, I've had some of the NARS duos that are just made to wear together. They're just so easy to apply as a sheer wash or build up and just throw them on and go. And this kind of reminded me of those, but in quad form. And I appreciate that. I am getting a lot of use out of this and will continue to. It's already out of stock on NARS website. I think I sourced it from Ulta down below. So if you are wanting it, this may be a last chance kind of thing. I don't know. I just, I've really been enjoying this and I'm, I'm kind of surprised about it. Now on the other end of the eyeshadow palette price spectrum, we have this nine pan from Lottie London. I can't remember what video recently I talked about another nine pan palette from Lottie London. I think it was honey pot, honey something. It was a uh, kind of a warm brown rust type palette. This one is called Fire up and I really like it especially because it's got this little pop of kind of whitish silver up here and some plum mixed in with the orangey bronzy copper yellow tones. This is a really fun spring and summer palette, a new palette that Lottie London released and I've been very very impressed with the quality of Lottie London eyeshadow and with how they wear. So if you haven't checked them out you may want to do so but this is one that you can have a lot of fun with and I do love that they have various colors stories that are themed. I want to say I saw a green one on the website that I might get my hands on soon. And I did get my hands on their new under eye brightener corrector. Stay tuned for that to be reviewed in my upcoming concealer roundup video. I've been testing it out. 
I placed a recent order on Charlotte Tilbury's website for the new makeup bag because I wanted to compare it to the viral cheaper versions that you see on Instagram. I talked about that in my I bought viral Instagram products so you don't have to video, whatever the title of that video was. So I got it, I was gonna do a review. Well, that makeup bag has been out of stock. I'm keeping my eye on it, but because it was limited edition, I don't know if she's gonna relaunch it or not. If it comes back in stock, I will review it for you. I have it here. So I also threw the magic body cream into that order because I just wanted to see what this was all about because I actually do like Charlotte Tilbury's magic cream for the face. I also like her under eye cream. So this has caffeine, some kind of uplift product, hyaluronic acid, shea butter. It's supposed to hydrate, smooth, lift, reshape the look of body contours, nourish your skin, and give a glowing radiance. Now I do notice this has kind of a light floral scent when I first apply it. It is a cream. It's a little bit thick, but it does absorb into the skin nicely. Yeah, I smell that floral scent right now. And I do feel like you can see a glow right after you apply it, but there are no sparkles or anything like that. But I would say probably within the hour, that glow is gone. My skin just looks like it does when I don't have moisturizer on it. Not like I don't have any moisturizer on it. I mean, my skin is pretty ashy if I don't moisturize it at all. It's not ashy. It just kind of, well, it looks like that. It just kind of has a flat look to it. This is gone. My skin just doesn't look or feel hydrated as the day goes on like this claims it will. I've tried it several times. I've gone back to look at the claims to make sure I'm reading it properly. Now, I haven't tested it long enough to see if it will actually contour my body, excuse me, lift and reshape the look of my body contour contours, but I almost feel like I would have to put some kind of a moisturizer over it because I just feel like my skin looks kind of dull and flat with it. It's definitely not glowy the way I expected it to be. I don't want sparkles. I just want a little bit of a, you know, kind of a sheen. If I'm going to pay a premium price for a body product, Peels Cream Decor comes to mind. It works beautifully. Necessaire is a brand I absolutely love and am pretty devoted to as well. Those just come to mind immediately. Also, Replenix has some really great body products that have worked well for me. So yeah, big disappointment. Pixie launched these new on the glow bronze tinted moisture sticks that I was really excited to try because I love the blush version of this product. There are four shades. I have two shades, rich glow and warm glow. Now these are not fully pigmented bronzing sticks. I think that's important to note. If you're going into these thinking that's what you're gonna get, you will be disappointed. This is a tinted moisturizer in sheer color product, all in one that's made to give you a healthy, subtle bronze glow. You you also may need to go a little bit deeper than you think. So this is warm glow right here and you almost cannot see it. If you have very fair skin, that shade might work for you. There's a shade that's in between rich glow and warm glow called soft glow. I kind of feel like I might need that. And this is rich glow. So there is a shade in between right here. It looks like there's going to be a metallic sheen to these. I, I don't find it to actually be metallic. It looks more like a, a dewy glow after it's applied. Now you also get antioxidant benefits and hydration from the ingredients that are in this in addition to, you know, just color on your face. I find they kind of drag on my skin when I apply them straight from the stick. I like to either take a brush in them and then apply it to my face or do what I just did and scribble it on my hand and then take a brush or even a sponge and apply it to my face or use my fingers. Either one, I just find basically any other method than taking these directly on my face works better. They just blend out better. Now there is some stickiness, tackiness to these. So I personally do have to set these. This cannot be a final step product for me, but if I top them with a translucent powder or something, I actually do quite like these. I'm saying these, uh, the shade rich bronze. I really can't see warm bronze on my light medium skin tone. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this product. Product. Have you tried it? Will you try it? Do you like this kind of product in the summer? Actually, anything I'm sharing in today's video, leave me comments down below. Let me know what you think. This is one of those rare products that I have in this particular video that I don't absolutely love it. I don't hate it. It's kind of an in-between product for me because of the application and just the specific way that I have to wear it. But when I do wear it, I think it's pretty. I think it would be a great product for those of you with dry skin because of the dewiness. And of course, you do need to get the right shade 
shade, but I think it's interesting that they came out with this type of product to go with their blushes. And I'm wondering why they didn't do a more pigmented formula or if they might in the future. The lipstick I've been wearing throughout this video is a new shade from YSL. This is the Bold High Pigment Lipstick in the shade 13 Nude Era. They released several new shades in this line and this is one that has just been speaking to me. Most of the shades in this line are medium to deep toned. I would say this is a medium nude that's very versatile, very wearable. It has a very creamy open opaque satin finish. And actually I would say that the finish gives a little bit more shine than just a satin lipstick, but less shine than a glossy finish. And it wears really nicely for a bullet formula while feeling creamy on your lips. It doesn't feel thick or sticky. It has oils and nourishing ingredients to help keep your lips hydrated for, I wanna say they said 10 hours. It's just very comfortable. It's an easy product and it's a nice luxury treat. If you're looking to treat yourself to a new lipstick, this is a great one to try. Okay, so I randomly was sent in PR this Born Dreamer fragrance by Charlie D'Amelio. And so of course I tried it because I love perfume and this one, unfortunately, it either just doesn't work well on me or who knows. All I know is that after the dry down, I get this kind of stale, musky, sour vanilla, probably from the citrus. I don't know. It just does not do me well. It has pear, orange zest, essential oil, jasmine petals, pink sugar, cashmere woods, skin musks, skin musks, and broxen and cedar wood. And this is just not a fragrance that does me any good at all. And I am always open-minded when it comes to fragrances and this is just not it. This was, no. Mm -mm. I talk about Dean Davidson a lot here on my channel. I wear their jewelry all the time. They're having their pre-summer sale where you can get up to 70% off some really great pieces. I have the link below. It ends on May 29th. So I wanted to let you know that because it's great, of course, for yourself, but it's also great to gift other people. And of course the quality, it's one of the reasons why I like it so much. So on non-sale items, you can continue to save the 25% that you normally save with my code StephMarie25. So what I have on today, the earrings and the necklace are new pieces from Dean Davidson. And I've also been wearing these earrings, which I just think are so on trend and a little bit different than regular hoops. If you've been watching my channel, I just, I love a hoop that's not a traditional hoop. And I also wanted to share their new custom necklace builder. You can build your own pendant set and choose between different chain styles, pendants, and gems, and kind of make it your own if you're wanting to build a gift for someone or do it for yourself. So I have the snake chain here with the initial pendant, and then I have my birthstone gem, and I've really been enjoying wearing this. So again, anything that is not included in the sale, you can save 25% with my code. And those are just some of the pieces that I've been loving this month, but I have so much from the brand that I love in general. I always love sharing new pieces with you. I have some life updates to give you. Brooke graduated. I have a lot to share about that. And then of course, I still need to chat about the Taylor Swift concert that we went to that was so great. I'm thinking I might chat about that while I'm doing the makeup look. And maybe I'll just do a get ready with me and chat with you about Brooke's graduation. I'm not sure what format do you want to hear about that? Let me know. I get asked about these things a lot in my comments, but I never know the best way to communicate that with you in a format that you'll actually want to watch. A big thank you for watching today and hanging out with me and a huge thank you as always to the members of my Stephanie Marie circle who go above and beyond to support my channel and an extra thank you to the premium members who go even above that to support my channel. I just really appreciate you so much and appreciate all of you for watching and just being here with me. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you next time. Bye.